artwork that I do is uh, collage based. I'm a graphic designer. I've been doing it for the past 30 years. Being an artist for as long as I have been, I feel like it's been a part of my life, but it's something that I've maybe not let come to the forefront as much. But there is this idea of creation and making things, and I think it's embedded in my DNA and everyone's DNA, but I think it's kind of beat out of us. After childhood, it's like you can no longer draw because you have to do these adult things. And I've always felt like I had this child inside of me. There's a difference between uh, feeling childish and being childlike. And I felt all my life like I was childish. But then I realized that no, I'm childlike. There's a part of my childhood and the way of thinking as a child that looks at the world in a positive way and like anything is possible that I knew I was never gonna get rid of and I was gonna hold on to it white knuckled if I had to. I grew up in South Louisiana in a small town. I'm the youngest of five kids. So my mother started doing artwork when I was around five years old. And I was the only kid out of all my siblings who would sit still long enough so that she could use me as a model. So she would take me to these studios with her and her friends and all these middle-aged women are sitting there with their easels and chalk and paper and pens and they're drawing and painting me. So I would just sit there as a five-year-old and I could just keep still and not move. So that was kind of my entry into the art world. I'd take uh, trips to Mississippi. I had an uncle who was an architect, and in his home, he had a studio with a drawing table, and I was enamored. When I was there, I would use his drawing utensils, I would use his papers, his everything that he had, and I was able to kind of lose myself and spend hours in there drawing pictures as a probably a 10-year-old at the time. This is an old aircraft magazine. I bought a stack of these from a dealer in uh, East Dallas at an antique shop. Uh, and I happened upon these knowing that I was working on pieces that had aircraft included in them. So once I hit this, it's like I knew I had to hit the mother load. So I bought a stack of these from the dealer. Uh, and there's a bunch of pages in here that you can see that I've already cut images out from. I've got bigger pieces that I've used them for as well as smaller ones. But this kind of stuff is the stuff that I love. This, is, this forms a lot of the heart of a lot of the work that I do. For me, the nostalgia in my work started out literally as just a stylistic choice. It was something I liked the look of, so I wanted to recreate it. And I found over time working on these pieces that memories started to come up for me. At the same time, my father's getting ill he passed away about three years ago. And, you know, my relationship with him was not great growing up. But the last two weeks of his life kind of came to a place where we, I think we really enjoyed each other's company a lot more. So it was a short time period of, of a really good time with my dad. So I found that my emotions were starting to now come to the surface. And I realized that through my artwork, I was processing a lot of that stuff, a lot of those feelings and anger and, you know, feelings of abandonment, whatever that was, I was processing that almost subconsciously in the background of my mind, and it was coming through in the artwork. So once I realized that was happening, I started going in that direction. So what does that look like to process emotions through artwork? I think the most interesting aspect of my artwork in my mind is the fact that I use it as kind of a time travel machine. And I find that that thread runs through my artwork. I'm able to unearth things from old magazines and books and manuals. I'm able to take those elements and put them together and create something that, that draws on the past to where you have multiple decades that you're looking at but then it also can potentially point to the future. So creating something that is futuristic out of older things for me is a main part of my artwork and something that I love to experiment with.
the idea of beauty in life, I think, is uh, is too often overlooked. And I want to be someone who brings in things that are beautiful because we live in a time right now where things get really ugly with technology and politics and global events. And I would love to do my part to counter that to where people aren't constantly looking at the negative and feeling depressed. I want somebody to say, hey, I have a voice and here's this beautiful thing I created that can help us get together.